There's a lot of bad guys on the internet, and you need some software to protect yourself when you're computing, but you don't want to shell out a ton of money for it, right? Good news, you don't have to. There's a lot of great free security software. Seth Rosenblatt from Download.com joins us to tell you where to find it on today's Insider Secret. You want to find a bunch of great security software for free? This is the man to talk to, Seth Rosenblatt from Download.com. Thanks for joining us. Good to be here. Uh, so you do uh, a lot of blogging on Download.com's blog uh, all along the lines of security, right? Yes, absolutely. I so cover you, a lot of security products. You, uh, you run into the good stuff out there. Let's start with safe practices, though. You don't even sure. have to download anything to improve your security, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, first off, it's really uh, important to not download anything, any uh, email attachments that you don't know the uh, origins of. And even if you recognize the person's email uh, who's sending you the attachment, if they shouldn't be sending you a file like an .exe file, for example, don't open it. Just delete the email. Even documents and, uh, and images can, can Absolutely. have fake extensions so that they look like they're a JPEG, Absolutely. but they're not. They're Absolutely. actually executable. If you're not sure, always send the person uh, a new clean email saying, did this really come from you? Is this legit? Because the time difference, maybe 10 minutes to get a response, is uh, could potentially save you a lot of hassle in the long run. Now, what about links? You know, people are always sending each other uh, funny links yeah, to YouTube Or you get tiny videos. rolls or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, Links are a little bit trickier, uh, but these days most of the major web browsers uh, have some kind of built-in security. But again, if, if you're not sure, just delete it, send the person a note saying, is this really from you? Is this legit? So let's get to the free stuff then. Sure. Anti anti the fun anti stuff. Uh, antivirus, right? Antivirus, Most people yes. think, oh, i got to pay Norton, i got to pay somebody to get some right. antivirus. Absolutely. What are our options there? Uh, when it comes to freeware, there's not much in the way of open source except for Clamwin, which is a very good uh, portable antivirus application. It's not really my primary uh, uh, antivirus app. I prefer to use uh, Avira Antivir, which is kind of a goofy name. But uh, it turns out it's been extremely highly rated by uh, AV comparatives and uh, other third-party sources. And uh, it scores even higher at uh, removing viruses and protecting against malware than uh, AVG Free. And that's the one I've been using, AVG. Right. That, that seemed to be the more popular one. Right. And I was I actually used that, and then I switched back, and then I switched to uh, uh, Avira. Windows no. does have a built-in firewall. It does. As does OS 10. It does. Do you need another firewall though? Um, some users prefer to use, uh, when it comes to freeware, they prefer to use Komodo. Uh, seems to be one of the more popular ones Komodo these days. And it, and it just, it was a nightmare for I me. know. We, we were talking about that earlier. It, it, some people have uh, really bad experiences with Komodo, but in general, it, my, my usage and reading through user comments and everything, it seems to be uh, very well received. I use Zone Alarm, which has mm -hmm. a free edition, and sure. I didn't have any problems with it. Sure. I, I ran it for a long time, but then... That and then the you had problems right, with, and the, right? The, right, I had the opposite problem. So I you kind of just had to kill my computer. And, yeah. yeah. Securing your data, the mm -hmm. encryption, to kind of yes. tie everything up. Uh, the hands down, the best program out there is called TrueCrypt. They just updated too. And they just updated to version six. And this update is actually uh, uh, kind of uh, cool. Uh, it's got this new uh, feature in it where you can uh, create an encrypted and hidden operating system on your computer, a secondary OS within the main OS. So if there's uh, one or two particular programs that you need to use that you don't want anybody else to know about, um, you know, in, in business applications, for example, this is this is seriously the way to go. It's and TrueCrypt will encrypt anything. It'll encrypt files, it'll encrypt Absolutely. folders, it'll encrypt the whole hard drive, right? Absolutely. All right, now we just kind of skimmed to the surface of what's sure. available. If folks want to like do a little more research, find mm -hmm. out a little bit more about how to protect themselves, where can they go? Uh, well, on download.com, we have a security starter kit. And that's, uh, it, it's a really good place to go if you're looking for, for the whole nine yards. If you're looking for antivirus, for anti-spyware, if you're looking for encryption, uh, even for parents, if you want to find a keylogger or something, uh, or a filter, um, that's all available there. And then, of course, there's always Google or your favorite search engine. Right. Seth Rosenblatt, thanks so much. Glad to be here. Appreciate Thank you. Appreciate the help. Hope that uh, keeps a little more money in your pocketbook and keeps you more secure. That's it for this edition of Insider Secret. I'm Tom Maritzina.com.